welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your weekly general message for September 14th through September the 20th. And of course, we are starting with the love bird bonus for those of you who are in a beautiful, beautiful romantic bond. What's going on with the love birds? Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels. Hmm, we have two. Yes, but we're going to add, we're definitely going to add the hummingbird. Yes, yes, yes. Angels and guides, angels and guides. What is the positive love energy around you, lovebirds? We have emotional freedom and self-respect paired up with sunrise. Every sunrise sings a song. Don't worry, be happy, just sing along. I feel there is some gifts waiting for you too. When you practice self-respect, it's almost like you have to have respect for them and they have to have respect for you. Yes, this is the week that's going to test you, I feel. Yes, because someone, someone is crossing a boundary in your relationship. Now, moving on, moving on to the singles. Angels, what is going on with the singles? Single Aquarius. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have forgiveness and aura cleanse. When you feel heavy or run out of luck, go swim at the beach and you'll feel unstuck. I definitely feel like there's some energy around you, Aquarius, that is feeling a bit heavy. Um, you, maybe you're wanting forgiveness or maybe someone's wanting forgiveness from you. And I feel there's a possibility. No, I feel like you're going to go through the week. Um, feeling like, you know, I need to lighten this energy. I definitely need to, I feel like there was someone in your world that, that just, yeah, I feel like whoever this was in your world, it could have been today, tomorrow, yesterday, last week, last month. I definitely feel like there is some energy. Maybe someone hasn't forgiven someone. Maybe you haven't forgiven yourself. And this is going to be a healing process, the act of forgiveness, okay? All right, so let's move on. And then, like I said, you might forgive them, they might forgive you, or darn tootin', you just might forgive yourself in that situation, for that, from that situation, from that love situation. Okay, angels and guides, angels and guides, positive energy for Aquarius. Yes, yes, yes. For seven little days, that is it. September 14th through September the 20th. Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels. Yes. There we go. There we go. Angels and guides, angels and guides, we're looking for some joy. We're looking for positive energy for Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Moving on to, I want to say the new, I have a new angels deck, guys. I can't wait to incorporate, incorporate into the readings. Positive energy, positive energy for Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, these are new, so they're kind of sticking together. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're, and of course, these are all going to be upright, mm -hmm, because, yes, that is what's going to bring us positive energy. Yes, for Aquarius. Moving on to the purple deck. Thank you, angels. We're looking for messages for Aquarius. Angels. Come on, angels, what's going on? Let's make sure these are all upright. Yes, make sure they're all upright. Now, let's, I forgot, I forgot. How could I forget my mama's deck? Angels and guides, angels and guides, what is going on for Aquarius? Mm-hmm. For, it's, I don't know, the second or third week. And we are topping it off. I feel like we need to top it off. Top it off for with the hummingbird deck. Yes, yes, yes. Positive energy. Positive energy. I feel like that goes there. Angels and guides. Angels and guides. We're looking for some joy. Yeah, we're looking for some high vibes. Can we get some high vibes for Aquarius? 
Angels, high vibes, please. There we go. All right, so let's tidy up a bit and we'll get right into your message. Yes, yes, yes. Angels, angels, what's going on? What is going on for Aquarius? Now, major theme for the week is the Queen of Wands. Yes, with the beauty. Mm -hmm. Obstacles and challenges. Nine of clubs, a three of spades, nine of diamonds and the two of clubs. So I feel like Aquarius, with the Queen of Wands, you are definitely standing in your power. And you know what? <laughs> you know what? With the beauty card, you're loving it. You're feeling like, yeah, you're on top of your game and you're, you're like, mm-hmm, yep. I'm in charge, I'm in charge, but there are obstacles and challenges still in your world that it's the nine of clubs. There's things that need to be let go of up here. I even hear you saying, I need to let go of that way of thinking because it's driving me absolutely bonkers. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Will you let it go? I definitely feel you will let it go and I hear you talking about it okay now moving on to the recent past we have the justice card yes 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 with the home and suffering in silence with the joker and the ten the ten of diamonds the four of hearts and the nine of hearts so i feel like aquarius in the recent past justice has been served yes Yes, and I feel like I feel like this this sir this justice has to do with home, family, things of that nature. And I feel like what you had been suffering in silence for a while, and then something something unexpected happened. Yeah, with the abundance, abundance was like around you. Abundance, like. Like you weren't very happy, but I feel like there was a reason why you weren't very happy. Yeah, I'm picking up, maybe all your focus was on one thing. Maybe all your focus was on, um, I feel like your focus was on, you know what your focus was on. You know what you were only focusing on. And I feel like, I feel like whatever this was, it had to do with home. It had to do with heart. It had to do with soul. And I feel like whatever it was, you weren't sharing it with people about how you were feeling. And then something unexpected happened. And it be, and you, you got some joy out of it. You got really some joy out of your home, out of your, your love, your love nature. With the nine of hearts, but it's almost like you had to pay dearly for it emotionally for that it, it it feels like yeah things weren't so great but then it felt like it was a little and it felt like it was a okay so it was like you weren't happy in a situation and you felt like oh this feels like it's going to keep happening and then all of a sudden it got really great really great and then in order for it to stay really great, you had to invest a lot of time into it. Now, that was in the recent past. Okay, now let's move on from that. Let's move on from that. So in the middle of the week, we have the Ten of Pentacles, yes, with prosperity and the Crown Chakra with the Four of Spades, the Two of Spades, the Eight of of clubs and the two of hearts so in the middle of the week trust me abundance is around you joy is around you of prosperity money is you are a you are like a magnet to money right with your throat chakra i feel like you you're calling in all your debts <laughs> you're going you're like i need money for this i need you owe me that you owe me this i need my refund for that right because you need it for your security you want it and you're going to go get it with it if your friends owe you money, you're going to go get it, right? And you're and if, if some type of partnership, if a bank owes you money, you're gonna go get it. With the with the eight of clubs, you're not changing your mind. With the two of hearts, I feel like I feel like this has something to do. Um, I feel like this has something to do with someone that you love dearly. Maybe someone you love dearly owes you something and you're calling in, you're calling it in. I want what I need, I want what I gave you. Yeah, I loaned you, things of that nature. Now, and you know what, and whatever it is, it's, 
it's putting you in a different place financially. So if you're looking for a loan, if you're looking for uh, money for this or money for that, it's definitely gonna come and I feel like some of you may even be using that money for a love relationship, okay? All right, now, moving on to the end of the week, we have the Five of Cups, yes, 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 with the Battle card, the Moving On, mm -hmm, with the Nine of Diamonds, Nine of Hearts, Five of Clubs, and the Queen of Spades. So by the end of the month, I see that you are a bit, I want to say sad, unhappy about something that it feels like it was unstable to begin with, but you still fought for it. I definitely feel you fought for it, but now you're ready to let it go. You're ready to walk away with the nine of diamonds. You're like with the nine of diamonds, the moving on, the nine of hearts, you are done. You are completely, completely done. With the five of clubs, there is a bit like, I don't know, am I really? right like but there's a part that more of you is done done but your mind is like am i really done with the queen of spades that is what is driving you um, it's like it's inside of you you're like okay okay self aquarius okay get it together you're done okay you're done right right i like you're doing that self-talk you're done stop changing your mind all right so let's look at your bonus you have the ace the ace of swords with the devil card and the joy with the positive movement forward eight of diamonds five of spades two of diamonds and the joker so i i feel like i feel like there is something new coming your way all right you know what i feel like you're thinking there's something new coming your way but be careful of this new that is coming your way because it might not be the best for you, okay? But you're like, but it brings me joy. It brings me joy. It's like a mop to the flame, burn by the fire, okay? You're wanting to go to this. You're wanting to go to this. It's bringing you joy. You feel, oh, it's a positive movement forward. You feel very powerful in this. It's changing my life. Yes, this coming together. This coming together, be mindful of it because the last card out is the Joker. So what is to be is to be. What I'm feeling with this Devil card, it's something that's drawing you closer, drawing you closer. It's almost like the Pied Piper is drawing you closer, but be mindful of that. Take off those rose-colored glasses because if you follow it with the Joker, I can't tell you what is going to happen. All I can tell you is it's probably not the best for you, okay? All right, so I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.